In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use your transmitter, in my case the Tyrannus, with the Turnigy receiver controlled switch and the remote USB capabilities of CHDK to remotely take pictures with a switch on your transmitter. And then I'll wrap up the video showing how you can configure CHDK and your switch to remotely start your script. In my case I use an intervalometer script that takes a photo every so many seconds and using the switch I can turn that on remotely. There are two video links for reference in the description. One goes into the nuts and bolts of setting this receiver controlled switch up to remotely control LEDs on your setup and the other is a link to a video that I did that shows how to set up CHDK. So if you have any questions, be sure to refer to those videos that should be able to help you out. Okay, even though there's a mess of wires here, I wanted to basically leave everything exposed so you guys could see how this thing gets wired. Starting with the cable, this is just the standard Canon USB cable that comes with your camera. And I've clipped the USB end off of it and you'll see that I've exposed both the positive and negative terminals on this cable. And let's start with the negative end of the USB. We'll follow it all the way down and it basically goes to a channel on the receiver. Channel 1. It could be any channel that you want that's available. In this case I'm just getting 5 volts out of that channel. Now let's follow the positive end of the USB cable. It actually goes through our switch out the other side and you'll see that it connects to the red cable on that same channel 1 so we get 5 volts. If we follow the other end of the switch we have it connected to the receiver going to channel 5 and that's what actually is used when we toggle that switch on the Tyrannus or whatever your transmitter may be. It's going to close this switch and create a positive 5 volts that go into your USB cable and ultimately trigger the remote shutter in CHDK. And lastly for our wiring setup you'll notice this ESC. Now I'm just solely using it for the BEC capabilities to get 5 volts out into the receiver which is what powers our receiver controlled switch and on this side we just have a 2S LiPo. So the 2S LiPo is what powers the receiver and ultimately powers the entire setup. Okay lastly for our transmitter configuration this is the Tyrannus but as I mentioned you could use this with any transmitter. So I have a model called Switch and I'll go in to page 6. Now we'll have our standard throttle aileron elevator rudder. Channel 5 if you remember is what's connected from our receiver to our Turnigy receiver controlled switch. So I'll go ahead and set this one up. And I'll go ahead and skip giving it a name. Now for source, I'm going to hit enter. Now in this case, I like to use the switch in the back. This is actually switch SH. So as you can see, I can just flip it. It'll return to its current position and it'll take the picture when I depress it. And you can see the beauty of OpenTX is that that source dynamically updates. I'll go ahead and hit enter, select that. Now let me exit back to the main screen and this is something I like to do all the time. I'll page over to my monitor and you'll notice when I toggle SH you can see we go on channel 5 from negative 100 to positive 100 and that's what triggers the signal in the receiver controlled switch and ultimately sends 5 volts to the camera. Okay next we'll configure CHDK so I'll hit the play button, hit menu, I'll go to firmware update and I'm going to hit OK. The firmware is actually on the SD card. Okay so now we're in. I actually have a script that starts. I'm going to disable that. And next we're going to go to menu and scroll down to CHDK settings. There's an option for remote parameters and you'll see here it says enable remote. I'll click to turn that on. Then switch type, I'll press it once and we'll want the one push switch. And then I'll go ahead and go down and hit back. And back again. And then we'll go to our main screen. Now you'll notice we're in alt mode so I'm going to hit the play button and get out of alt mode so that now we have control of the camera. So next we'll plug in the USB cable. We'll go ahead and power our setup. So go ahead and plug that in. 
Now our receiver is bound. Tyrannus is turned on. Remember the SH switch. I'll go ahead and toggle it. And you can see now that we're taking pictures. At the beginning of the video, I mentioned about enabling your script with the switch. So now I'll go to the menu to CHDK settings. Under remote parameters, there's also an option to enable script start. So I'm going to go ahead and click that and turn that on. Then we'll go back and back again. I'll hit menu and now I'll toggle the SH switch and you can see now that our fast shooter script has started. And let me leave you with one last bit of information. If you go into your settings and I'll go to script, you'll notice that I have it set on auto start. So when I boot up the camera and the firmware, it actually triggers the script to run automatically. So that's what I've been doing in the past, but now with this remote script capability with the Tyrannus switch, I can turn this off and just depend on that switch to get my script going. So just wanted to share that with you guys. I've really been enjoying using this receiver controlled switch with CHDK. Definitely makes my life easier. It took a little while to figure out how to set it up. I hope the wiring made sense. And if you're looking to do this setup and run into any problems, please feel free to post a comment below. And until next time, thanks for watching.